Welcome to the Recaps channel. In today's video, we'll recap underwater. Let's get started. Kepler-822 is a research and drilling facility operated by Tian Industries in the Mariana Trench. Nora Price, a mechanical engineer, is going about her usual routine when the facility experiences power fluctuations and a leak springs from the ceiling. She leaves the bathroom and gets hit by waves rushing through the walls, indicating a pressure breach. She runs down the hallway, trying to warn people to hurry to the bulkhead, but only Rodrigo joins her. Once they reach the bulkhead, their plan is to close the doors to prevent further destruction of the station. However, the computer doesn't respond, so Nora has to manually open it and start it. Luckily, she succeeds. They decide to wait before closing the doors because two more crewmates are approaching down the hallway. Unfortunately, they can't reach them in time, so Nora closes the doors to contain the destruction, leaving the two men behind. The computer they were using explodes, causing Nora and Rodrigo to briefly lose consciousness. When they regain consciousness, the emergency recording informs them that the station is 70% compromised. Rodrigo believes it was an earthquake, but strange noises from outside raise suspicions. Nora's attempts to call for help prove futile, so she and Rodrigo set out to find the escape pods. They check the location and status of the pods in the CPU room and must navigate a debris-filled hallway, the only path to reach the pods. Carefully maneuvering through the rubble, they hear a voice calling for help and discover Paul buried under rocks. He joins them after recovering his plush bunny. The three crawl through a narrow passage and come across the body of another crewmate before finally reaching the pod bay. Captain Lucian, who stayed behind while others escaped in the evacuation pods, remains there. All the pods have already been deployed. Nora uses a computer to unjam the door, while Lucian sends Paul and Rodrigo to check on the submersibles. Once the room is opened, Lucian examines Nora for injuries and then sends her to the control room after being informed by the others that the submersibles are not usable. In the control room, Nora finds biologist Emily Haversham and engineer Liam Smith, who are in a relationship. The three other men join them, and Emily warns them about the potentially dangerous energy buildup in the station. With no way to contact the surface, Lucian suggests moving to a different facility, the Roebuck 641, which would require them to wear pressurized suits and undertake a two-mile walk into the unknown. Although the crew is hesitant, they eventually accept the plan. Liam plays a recording of the last transmission from the drill site, indicating that the men there were under attack from the mysterious noise Nora previously heard. The sudden increase in temperature outside also raises concerns. With no alternative, they prepare to suit up for the journey. Emily is nervous about diving, and the crew acknowledges the risks involved in walking outside for an extended period. Paul ensures his plush bunny accompanies him, and Rodrigo checks the last two helmets before handing one to Nora. Concerned about the noises in the recording, Liam decides to grab a gun before leaving, with Paul following suit. Once everyone is suited up, they enter the elevator, and Liam warns them about the damaged exterior hatch, urging them to hold on tightly due to the imminent pressure. Cracks appear on Rodrigo's helmet, catching Nora's attention, but before she can warn Liam not to open the door, it's too late, the water rushes in, and Rodrigo's helmet implodes, killing him. Despite the tragedy, there is no time to grieve, and they swiftly proceed by jumping into a cargo lift. Nora experiences guilt, believing that Rodrigo intentionally gave her the last good helmet despite knowing his own was broken. Lucian dismisses her feelings, advising her to accept the situation. While descending in the lift, they receive a distress signal from one of the pods, leading Lucian to send Paul and Liam to investigate. Before leaving, Paul entrusts Emily with his bunny. Despite the darkness and unstable platforms outside, Paul and Liam follow Nora's directions, encountering the familiar strange noises. They discover that the pod has imploded and is covered in a peculiar algae-like organism. They also find a deceased individual, prompting Lucian to order them to return since there are no survivors to rescue. However, Paul becomes fixated on a liquefied shape on the body's back, which unexpectedly moves and attacks him. Liam shoots the creature, and they bring it inside. Emily examines the creature, noting its talons and mouth used for feeding but lacking eyes. As she discusses the possibility of discovering a new species, the elevator loses power and stops, accompanied by the ominous noises outside. Paul realizes they have a baby creature, prompting him to secure the door tightly. Although Nora manages to disengage the elevator, it remains motionless for an unknown reason. Suddenly, an adult creature appears at the window just as the Kepler station explodes. The elevator plummets uncontrollably, 
and the crew hastily dons their helmets before impact with the seafloor, narrowly escaping. Outside, they must move quickly due to falling debris from the explosion. Liam gets injured, but Lucian and Nora save him and help him reach an intermediate station, where they discover his oxygen scrubber is damaged. Nora forcibly opens a control panel to call a mover, which they ride through an access tunnel while hearing the creatures pursuing them from outside. Unfortunately, they are forced to halt the mover midway due to a flooded tunnel, forcing them to continue on foot. Soon after, they encounter additional debris blocking their path. Given her smaller size, Nora volunteers to dive in search of an alternate route. She discovers a passage beneath the debris that, while tight, is still large enough for the entire crew to cross. Lucian secures each crew member with wires before they traverse the passage without issue, except for Paul, who claims to see something behind him. The crew pulls at his wires to bring him along, managing to do so. However, as soon as Paul removes his helmet, his wire is pulled from the other side. He gives them his bunny before putting his helmet back on, but the creature rips him out of his suit and kills him. Fleeing before the creature can reach them, the crew arrives at a communications room where Lucian attempts to request help but receives no response. Liam observes the destroyed drill through the window, questioning how it could have been damaged considering its weight. Emily suggests that their actions of digging too deep into the ocean floor are to blame, and she regrets their decision. She concludes that nobody should be down there, a sentiment with which Nora agrees. Lucian notices the window beginning to crack, emphasizing the need to leave the room. However, they worry about Liam, whose suit is insufficient for the journey. Although Liam insists they go on without him since he would only slow them down, the others refuse to abandon him and agree to help him walk. The four of them venture onto the ocean floor, but it doesn't take long before a creature appears, swimming around them. They turn off their suit lights, but it offers little help as the creature reappears and captures Liam, dragging him into a cave. With Liam's foot still visible at the entrance, Lucian enters the cave and discovers him alive, initiating a rescue attempt. After leaving Liam with the girls, Lucian returns to the cave to retrieve the gun. Unfortunately, the creature finds him, pulling him deeper into the cave and dragging Nora along since she's connected to him by wires. Nora finds herself on a floating platform while Lucian dangles tangled at the edge of it. She intends to help him, but the creature appears and approaches her, placing its mouth on her helmet. In a brave act, Lucian jumps on the creature to push it away, resulting in the creature dragging them deeper into the water. With the increasing pressure threatening their lives, Lucian sacrifices himself by unhooking his suit from Nora's, allowing her to float away before he implodes. Nora briefly loses consciousness and wakes up to discover her suit is failing. Startled by an octopus, she runs away and finds a door leading to the abandoned shepherd station. After mourning the loss of her captain and changing into dry clothes, she explores the station. Unable to send a message to Emily, she stumbles upon a map of the drilling site in Lucian's locker. Determined to survive, she dons a different suit she finds and grabs a flare gun before venturing back onto the ocean floor, intending to reach the Roebuck station as planned. Following the markers, she hears Emily's voice, prompting her to rush toward her. Emily mistakes Nora for one of the creatures and starts running. Nora jumps on her to calm her down, expressing her pride in Emily for surviving and keeping her boyfriend alive. Together, they drag Liam along as they continue their journey, distracting themselves with conversation. Nora opens up to Emily about her fiancé, Liam's best friend, who disappeared during a solo diving mission, causing her to despise feeling powerless to change anything. She finds solace in the fact that Liam and Emily have each other. Finally, they reach the glowing Roebuck station. Upon entering, they discover a nest of creatures suspended from the ceiling, appearing to be asleep or in hibernation. Turning off their suit lights, the girls attempt to sneak through but fail when Emily's oxygen alarm goes off. One of the creatures grabs Nora, who instructs Emily to grab Liam and run to the door. As the creature starts swallowing Nora, she shoots her flare gun from inside, freeing herself. The other creatures begin waking up, prompting Nora to prepare her second flare bullet. However, she notices the creatures being lifted by something massive and growling. Nora shoots her flare gun into the distance and realizes that the approaching monster is the ancient Cthulhu. Shocked for a moment, she begins running, but Cthulhu lands behind her, causing an explosion that renders her unconscious. Fortunately, Emily saves her by grabbing her and taking her inside the station. Nora's helmet becomes stuck, but Emily uses a fire extinguisher to crack it, allowing Nora to breathe again. After helping Liam out of his suit, the three of them run through different hallways until they find the control room, where they witness Cthulhu and its creatures through the window. 
Nora checks the station map on the computer and guides her crewmates to the pod bay. The station is flooding, and doors are being locked by the emergency system, but they navigate their way while dodging incoming waves. Three pods await them, but only two are functional, a fact Nora keeps to herself. They place Liam in the first pod with Paul's plush rabbit and send him out. Next, it's Emily's turn, but she refuses when she discovers Nora's lie. Pressed for time, Nora punches Emily and forces her into the pod, assuring her that everything will be alright before launching her. Nora accepts her fate but begins to worry as she realizes the creatures are going after the pods. Determined not to feel powerless in her final moments, she conceives a plan based on Emily's mention of accumulated energy within the stations. Using the computer, Nora initiates an overload of the Robux nuclear core, causing a massive explosion that kills her, Cthulhu, and its creatures while allowing the pods to escape safely. Finally, various classified news articles and reports are shown, indicating that no one is permitted to communicate with the survivors. All surveillance footage has been destroyed and Tian Industries rejects government assistance with the investigation, planning to rebuild and continue drilling. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share if you enjoyed the video. See you again here on, The Recaps Channel.